why are we calling Howdy. this the Scout Show? Well, these were two recipes, if you remember when we, when we looked at them two years ago, <laughs> that we <laughs> thought would be funny you know, uh, for Scouts. And, oh, okay. uh, and then we'd gotten that letter, you know. Mm. So, uh, which, come here, honey. But we actually don't have any Scouts here today appearing on the program. Lord, I'm I hope sure. not. <laughs> Girl or boy. Oh, the All witch. Right. Well, let's yes, hi. Uh, How are here you? is the letter that actually made us want to do it. Maybe you can read that. I don't have my glasses Salute. on. Salute. You guys have had a lot of fun with the Girl Scouts and their cookies. Why don't you do some recipes for Boy Scouts? Didn't use a question yeah. mark. Did you notice mm -hmm. that? My troop would appreciate it from Harvey Cold Griddle. Harvey Cold Griddle, it's a hyphenated, one of those hyphenated right. words. Obviously, he was married previously yes. to a cold. Yeah, right, before uh, from, he was a griddle. <laughs> <laughs> from Campfire, Pennsylvania. Right. Oh, okay. So now, that's why we're doing oh, Scout Recipes Oh, now I understand today. it better. So you're doing a Stout Boy sh uh, stew, stew, easy for you to say, yeah. <laughs> and I'm doing castor oil cookies. And I will take, beg your pardon? Castor oil cookies. And I will take, what? This lady sent in this recipe and, and said that, that we were always talking about Girl Scout cookies, and this was one for Boy Scouts, castor oil cookies. And so we'll, we'll be doing that. And then, of course, you know, when, when you go on those uh, campouts with the Scouts, you know, you remember they would always take I never sneak did that. some beer into it? I never did always. that. Always. I but never went on a camping trip in my you life. You know what? I didn't either. I'm, I, I went through the Cub Scouts this. and decided this is not for me. But my friends <laughs> <laughs> that were Scouts mm. were, were frequently naughty. And even though it was sponsored by the church, uh -oh. they would sneak uh -oh. a can uh, Pap's Blue Ribbon or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> One well, of those beers that was popular back in the 40s. Uh, uh -huh. It probably anyway, still is. It probably is. Anyway, anyway, they would sneak it in. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, so we found this recipe that came in, and I said, Doris, do it. You're the baker of the bunch. See if this is any good. It sounded good, and it's real easy, and something the kids would do under the blanket after it got dark. Well, I've had sort of a, <laughs> I've had sort of a stomach ache. Will these cookies help my stomach ache? Uh, this castor I, I oil would, cookies. I would imagine that they would set you free. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the lady that sent them in said that uh, two cookies was equal to a real good dose of castor oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm, I'm glad I'm going directly home after the show. <laughs> well, I guess we have uh, the very lovely and semi voluptuous uh, is going to fly right. in. Uh, Although that's no, the no, witch no, that that's the witch. No, you're talking about. Well, I'm talking Doris. about the other one that Our flies, resident yeah. nudge. Come, Come on, on in here, Doris. <laughs> Doris is joining us early because she's so nervous. <laughs> right, I, I always am. She's but I so to nervous. Get this in the oven because I thought if I made it at home, they'd really be bad. Good. And this is a rainy, rainy day here, and it'd be pretty soggy. But we had to get two cups of buttermilk. Uh, biscuit mix, mm. and that is, if, I think if you look in the little tiny boxes, uh, you can find the buttermilk mix. They don't put it out in big ones around here. Then I have six uh, chopped green onions, a half a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. So you need to talk in <laughs> no, that I camera. No, I don't. I just look at my little paper here. <laughs> <laughs> look this way. I'll hold her on this way. Monterey Jack cheese with, with jalapeno peppers, and then <laughs> let me look. A half a cup of beer. Now, I, I let it die, because I didn't see how you're supposed to put that beer in there. It doesn't have a that. head on it anymore. <laughs> no, I opened it up this morning and <laughs> let it sit. A true connoisseur of beer. Now, now, wait a minute, Doris. The, the, the bubbles is what makes it rise. Maybe, but, Maybe, but it, I don't we'll, know. we'll see. We'll see. All right. And then you just dump it in there and stir it up. It, it smells there. like beer, but it looks like oil. <laughs> right. Really. And then you just mix this up, and then, uh, then I have to drop it onto a cookie sheet and bake it. And I'm going to try that now. Are those noodles? Yeah. No, that's yeah, your Monterey that's Jack cheese, cheese oh, okay. grated cheese in it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But I think, I don't know how you'd measure it with all that foam. Hmm. And then, you know me, I had to throw it down to oh, drain. So. <laughs> we'll have foam, foam, foam <laughs> till our daddy <laughs> takes our T-bird away. I gotta, I'm got to, I'll just got to do I'll one quick thing and then okay. it's up to you. Uh, the most uh, horrendous thing I have to do with this recipe today, and, and I got to do it right now, <laughs> is to grind a pound of ground beef. And for right now, that's about all I'm going to do. All right. Holy cow. Well, with me. It was me, the beer that did it. Now, Doris has brought in her high-priced mixer so that we can do this recipe right. But you can, I allegedly, 
do this on your own. Let me get my glasses out of my pocket so I can see what I'm doing. All right, uh, one cup, uh, this is for the castor oil cookies, one cup of sugar. Here it is, and we're going to throw it right in. And then after that, we're going to put in one cup of molasses. And this is, all right, this is 12 ounces or 8 ounces in a cup, so we're going to pour two-thirds of this down into here. You got, you know, if you can pour it directly out of the bottle by estimation. You know what that reminds me of when I smell better. it? Molasses. Christmas. Cows. 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 Cows, cows. Because in the wintertime when you ran out of hay and you had to start feeding your beef cattle straw, in order to get them to eat the straw, you often got big, great big cans, so it's great big, mm -hmm. gal well, how many gallons? of molasses, and you would put molasses on the straw, oh. and the cows would eat the straw. I see. Mm -hmm. so you learn something every day with me, Johnson. Well, you know. you know, you grew up on that farm and everything. Did, you all didn't make your own molasses, so I oh, guess. Oh, goodness. You no. know, everybody in your much area of the state trouble. made uh, sorghum, grew it, yeah, pressed it. And we made our own apple butter, but we didn't make our own molasses. It well, just wasn't a real big thing where I grew up. Okay. We bought well, it. We loved it. All right, bought. one cup of milk, there that is, and one half cup of castor oil. Now, I've got to <laughs> tell you a story about this. Doris went to the drugstore to get the castor oil, I and they smell had it. some. I want to smell it. But she said it was all they had, and so... <clears throat> it's been sealed for your protection. I, I went, I got on the interstate, or the, I'm sorry, the World Wide Web, same mm. thing. Mm. Doesn't have a smell that I can tell. And found out that there are whole factories that make castor oil. So if you need it, ask somebody on the web and it's plenty. Did of you have to take your stuff when you were a kid? No. Oh, I did too. She used to get that spoon and chase me around the kitchen. Oh, ooh, I hated that. But I can't remember what I took it for. <laughs> But it's best we don't. Uh, talk. It's best we don't talk well, about you know. it. I'm sure it was some malady or another, mm -hmm. some reason why I had to take castor oil. All right. I yeah, think it was right. mostly because she wanted to be mean to me. I think well, that was really the only reason that she gave me castor right. oil. Now, let's see. This uh, this is a teaspoon of soda. Everything Doris got is in these little things that are real hard to. Doris open. is in a, an ecstatic mood. She's sneezing and laughing a lot today. Okay. If she was also dopey and, then, and... you have the salt over there? No, I don't, but I'll find it for you. Your salt is in the thing. My salt is in the what? The salt and the baking soda is Oh, the salt and the baking soda were together. Oh, Thank one of these so pre-mixed shows, ladies All and right. gentlemen. And I got to have ginger. You remember ginger? She was walking you? down the street a few minutes ago. Two teaspoons of ginger, and I don't see that. Do, you, do, do we have that over here, Doris? The, the ginger. Ladies and gentlemen, while he's trying to find right. his recipe stuff, Go ahead. I'm, I am frying up oh, this. Oh, there it is. This it's hamburger. right here in front of me, literally. And, and now back to Laban, who <laughs> has just found it right in front of him. One teaspoon and two. This hamburger don't smell no better than last teaspoon. week's did. Oh, they'll love that at lunchtime. Uh-huh. <laughs> we can only hope. All right. Now, there you go. All right. Now, um, and... This is the thing about this show, everybody, that, that you got to, or this recipe, this is another one of those where there's no measurement. You just have to sense that you're in the right place. So let me, I'm going to mix these ingredients up. And then you have to add enough flour to make it uh, stiff enough to roll. Well, maybe if we don't like these cookies, we can feed them to the cows. Uh-huh. They keep an entire herd here at the station. <laughs> Out back, actually, uh, <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> don't go there, don't go there. Okay, I'm just frying the hamburger and trying to stay out of trouble. <laughs> I thought it was another way they could make <laughs> money around here. <laughs> Can't you see some of our friends here on the staff? out there milking those babies. And oh, we forgot to tell everybody <laughs> that you and I are now the catheter, the the catheter oh, that's right. twins. The cardiac twins. The cardiac twins, ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened to me. I've hung out with Johnson long enough that I had to have my own heart catheterized last week and I'm just barely standing and today. And what's funny, he, there's nothing wrong there's with nothing him. Wrong with <laughs> I'm it happy was, to it say. It was a fig, 
a figment of his imagination. They saw something on radar. I don't know what it was, but it scared them. Well, I think, you know, they were so sure you didn't have a heart that when they saw it, they were amazed. <laughs> it's the second time someone has said that. B at the Waffle House said, said says, well, you got to have a heart to have that operation. <laughs> well, you know what people really think of you when the chips are down? Mm-hmm. And your chips were down, <laughs> yes, for just a moment, and then you lost the bet. <laughs> All right, now, I put about three cups total in what? there. What is Doris over there saying? She's just yapping. I swear. She thinks this is a talk show of some kind. How much do you have to add, Johnson? Well, I'm trying to figure it out as I go. <laughs> and you know, flour changes according to the humidity, and as Doris it's said, you're in the today. middle of a terrible storm. It is terrible just today. Just awful. Did you bring enough gum for us all, Jim? Huh? Let me have one. I feel oh, my breath please. needs freshening, but then you know I, was, I always like to tell Johnson halitosis is better than no breath at all. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. Well, having been there, I can tell you no breath at all isn't much fun. <laughs> I'm sure I'm glad this isn't my house. Wait, this. Why? It's messy. Am I supposed to brown this stuff? It says fry the ground beef in an arn, A-R-N. He's joking, fry pan. This was sent in, by the way, by Sydney White of Radford, Virginia. Thank you, Sydney. Yeah, and let me see who sent in these castor oil cookies while I think about it. Uh, Marjorie Ketchum of Burlingame, California. Good heavens, all the way out in California. Well, you know, they love us out they there. They love us in California. We don't know why. All right. Uh, you know what? Why don't we uh, give our recipes right now, Larry, while well, we're just twiddling around with this <clears> stuff? <throat> Mine, which is the Stout Boy Stew, calls for a pound of ground beef, one 16-ounce can of pork. Now, why did you fry that up? And then you'll add everything all at one time. One 16-ounce can of pork and beans, package of onion soup mix, quarter of a cup of catsup, two tablespoons, no teaspoons, I'm sorry, of chili powder or to taste, and a teaspoon of prepared mustard. That's all there is to it. Well, the castor oil cookies have a cup of sugar, a cup of molasses, and a cup of milk, a half a cup of castor oil, a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of soda, two teaspoons of ginger, and plenty of all-purpose flour, I'd say at least six cups. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this recipe because this now has to cook with all the rest of the stuff in it for 10 minutes, and okay. I wanna make sure it gets cooked. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and finish the whole thing. <coughs> I'm coughing because I got flour in my throat. Calls for a, half, a quarter of a cup of ketchup. Boom. Ugh. This won't take but a second, folks. Maybe it'll take more than a couple of seconds. A package of onion soup mix goes in there. Was I supposed to pre-mix this in this bowl? Is that why this bowl is over here, Dora? Whatever you want. She's confused me. Put that in there. A can of pork and beans. This doesn't take a real lot of work. And then we have to add a couple more quick things here. We have to add a teaspoon of prepared mustard. And make sure you get the mustard that comes in these swell little cups. <laughs> Doris has set me up with some prepared mustard yeah, that's, and that's swell Dixie little mustard. cups. <laughs> Dixie mustard. And uh, two teaspoons of chili powder. One, two. And that's it. <laughs> and then what you do is you cook this. I've got to turn this down. And you then cook it for 10 to 15 minutes, and that's it. That's the whole recipe. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I've got a wad of this. This is by no means all of the dough, but it's enough to work with. And I patted it out here on my board, and you roll it out as you would want it. Of course, mm, boy, this looks good. Mm. Well, mm. we'll see. <laughs> anyway. And you roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Let's see, yeah, that'll do. And then you're going to cut it. And Doris brought in her cutter she uses for the dog biscuits. You know, she, and these probably could pass for dog biscuits. They really do look like dog biscuits. Look at well, there they are. Oh, you're right. Where's course, old Bowser I, when you I need him? I wouldn't want to be around old Bowser. Uh, 
<laughs> after you had a heaping teaspoon or so of this, <laughs> heaping whatever. Now let's see, what other things? Is this a squirrel? What is this, Doris? Oh, it's a dog to go with the Looks dog Looks like biscuit. some kind of an animal. Hmm. There it is. A dog. It's a duck. It's no, a dog. it's a dog. I guess it's a dog. Right. It looked like a little like a duck and to I me because that looked is, like a bill. This one looks like Frosty the Snowman. Oh, for heaven's it sake. It is Frosty. I'd know him anywhere. With his shiny hat and his corn cob pipe. And, and a button nose and two eyes made out of stuff. Right. Coal. Down right. through the anyway, village. Anyway. This cookie, I can't believe it. You know, I'm, I'm not too good at this, I have to admit. Well, those and this are is, beautiful. I know, they've come out just perfect. Do we have a camera so we can take a picture of this? And we need this to have many so pictures lovely. of this. Anyway, it's you're going to cook them at 450 degrees for uh, five to seven minutes. <laughs> <coughs> Doris, I think I need a cup of water. Boy, between uh, Doris sneezing and your coughing, it's well, uh, like it's, a ward down here today, I'm telling you. It's him. sort of the... If we had dopey good, and, good weather, uh, and version, itchy, we'd have the seven dwarfs working on the show. If we had the good weather kind of stuff. There was no itchy. We'd though, have, was there? No. <laughs> I think I just made itchy that up. is not one of the regular ones. Itchy was not one of the regular ones. All right. Anyway, this will make a pile of cookies, this recipe. Oh, that's good. A pile of cookies. This is going to be a big hit down at all tomorrow uh, <laughs> or whenever. Oh, I wish I was here along about 3 o'clock tomorrow uh -huh. afternoon. There huh? Oh, your your water, sir. Oh, thank you. And what a lovely in, in cup. In a very fine swell, Blue Ridge Public Television uh, cup. Ah, that's good water. Tastes like spinning the hose for <laughs> two years. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there they are, and that is the recipe for the castor oil cookies. How's yours coming? Well, it just has to simmer for a little bit. Doesn't it just look and smell delightful? I'll tell you, between that stew, <laughs> the bread, and these cookies, don't go on a camp scout uh, outing anytime soon. Now, how long do you have to bake these? Five to seven minutes at 400 degrees. 400 degrees. And they just puff right up. I'm not going to put them in because we've supposed... already got a bench done. Oh, no, please. Let's not <laughs> I get too carried away. But this will make a it. world of cookies, mm -hmm. four or five dozen. Yeah. Well, how is that recipe you were doing? Have you done it yet? Is it in the oven it's yet? The oven. It's in, oh, they're browning, I can see from here. How long are they supposed Do to be in there? Oh, if you, you let all the heat out, you know, this is not a good... Uh, well, it looks right nice to me. Let's turn mm -hmm. on the light and yeah. see how pretty they are. They're gorgeous, Maybe they'll want gorgeous, to get a gorgeous. close-up shot of those for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you could roll these up into just one piece again and roll out a flat thing and put something good in it like jelly. Pro you probably could. Just roll it out into another, let me put it up here. Cookie dough you can't mess around too bad with. You know, it doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. And well, I don't know. And they're easy to roll. Mmm. Well, this bean stuff is coming along. Mm -hmm. The reason that you have to let it go for about 10 minutes or so is because, I th actually, I think it could use just a little more snappy peppy. I'm going to put just a little bit more chili powder in there. I don't think I put quite enough because I like mine just a little more snappy than that. So I'm going to put just a little. It says to taste. Mm. And some people, as you know, like their beans real zippy. And oh. I'm one of those that does. But the reason that you have to let it go is because that you, you put all that soup mix in there. Now, what do you got? This is one that Doris previously baked with a press. Oh, isn't and, that and pretty? And they do beautiful in cookie presses. You roll it into a ball you, and then press it. You, you roll it in a ball and then press it in the cookie press. Well, I'm what, impressed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. And I think if you roll this out thin enough, you could put a dab uh, and cut it. Let me cut it. Oh, dear like this mm -hmm. into a little triangle that you could put a little teaspoon did, of, did of some your, kind of jelly right you here. Your, and and did you get uh, your stuff that went in that? Fold it over like this. 
and bake it into a little cookie like that with jelly inside of it, and it would be real good. Uh-huh. You think so, huh? I believe. I, uh -huh. I would recommend that to you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Doris, back again for her second great performance <laughs> on Cooking Sheep. Go over your uh, recipe, recipe, because okay. I thought the first time you did it that you were right Not squirrely good. about it. Okay, two cups buttermilk, uh, biscuit mix, six a chopped green onions. That says choked. Green oh, onion. it's supposed to have another See, chopped pita. has two peas. I know, but oh. Laban was reading this over the phone, uh, telling me over the phone, and I had to write real fast. <laughs> a half a cup of Monterey Jack with cheese with peppers, the hot jalapeno peppers in it. A half a cup of beer. You mix it all together and drop it on a cookie sheet and cook it for 10 to 12 minutes in a 450 oven. And we really do recommend <laughs> that you, you do it while you still have uh, fresh beer mm -hmm. that has a head on it, because really and truly, that supposedly is what causes it to rise. Well, and although it, it looks like Doris does know what she's doing, because look at these. Come over here with these. Oh, they're beautiful. They look wonderful. They really okay. do. Just shove them over there. Just... Here goes some more Tupperware. <laughs> look at that. Are they soft? I don't know. I guess you'll find out when you bite into it. Yeah. Well, we need well, a little. And we, we've got butter over here on the Well, plate. hold on. We need yeah, to, I, the tray, to do this. Do the, you tray, have, the tray I bought didn't fit in the oven, so I had to grab this. I, I think that uh, they need to be loosened a little and bit. And I, I didn't grease it because of the, I didn't know I was going to have to use it. And what are these things? Scones? <laughs> no, they're, they're beer muffins. Beer, beer muffins. muffins. Boy, they look beautiful. They do, and I hope they taste good. But they are sticking well, real somehow, badly. I, I wonder the, how. Uh, well, I should have greased it, but I didn't. All right, that's all right. No, it's not all right. <laughs> I'm offended that you didn't know. I'm just joking. We'll put that right, in there. Well, let's, I'll take them over to the table. Oh, wait a minute. I still have five more to put on. Uh, <laughs> get out of town. No, no. Get out of studio in oh, six minutes. All right. Anyway, uh, here, let me put this one on there while I'm at it. Thank mm, you. Boy. Well, I want time I'm going to take you. I know. He, it takes him 10 minutes to get over to the table. And, with, of course, I'm walking around with a slight limp. Oh, 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 no. The second week in a row, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trapped. I'm hung up on the pig. It's terrible. we got to do something about mm. that print. But anyway. Well, I've got on my piggy apron that Miss Carol made for me. lovely Miss Carol. That's right. She did that. Oh, wonderful. I'm sitting a little lately today. <laughs> oh, here, let me give you some of these wonderful, <laughs> wonderful beans. Yeah, oh, we'll just call him Chief it. Mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, Johnson. Oh, oh no look way. at this. Now, Doris is always messing around. Look, she has put two dog bones with our names. <laughs> and she That's had to mine. bite the dogs to get them out to give them to uh -huh. us. Uh-huh. Yeah, well. Uh -huh. And there's yours, Laby. It Thank says you. so right there. And, oh, yes, now that I've found well, out I that I have a clean bill of health, let me get a big wad of butter on this. <laughs> The doctor told him his arteries were completely <laughs> open, and ever since he's, he's been gone eating nuts. everything in sight. Mm -hmm. Had lard yesterday for lunch. Mm -hmm. I did buy Big a slab of lard. Oh, it's terrible. How's this biscuit? I like those biscuits, Doris. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try the beanie minis and tell me what you think there, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson's never been very big on the legumes, you know. No, no. <laughs> this is not one of his favorite things. The legumes. Not bad. It really isn't. It's so simple to do that it's almost just uncanny. But yeah. you know, it is real snappy. I like it an awful lot. Well, well now comes the true test, ladies. Gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute, Doris will get me some more water so I can... Yeah, we don't want get, you to choke. No, and I don't want you to... To miss the... We don't want you to choke. This one's got Larry written all over it. <laughs> you ready? Woo! <laughs> I hope all Dog of biscuits. Yep. Yeah. What do you think? They're not too bad. They're not, they're not bad. They're, actually, the castor oil cookies. Dora okay. said they were terrible, and I don't think no, they're bad they're at okay. all. They got a nice molasses taste mm -hmm. to them. And my stomach feels better they're already. They're not overtly sweet. 
you probably could make them with that uh, uh, fake sugar now. Mm -hmm. The you know the the kind that diabetics can have, and uh, of course you can't change the molasses, but you could cut down a lot on the sugar by just using artificial sweetener. Well, this has been a complete surprise all the way around, and a, a nice one at that. Y'all come back now when you have some time to eat these cookies.